tubers. I got the floor soaking, motor sitting down, subframe back there, bottom halfway out of the garage. Well, three quarters of the way. And what we're about to try right now is get this all the way out so we can get that out and that out. So, wife and I just try to pick it up and we can do it. So, um, we're gonna try to show this how we do things here uh, when you got just the two of us. So, I'll shut you off here now and get the camera set up outside and see if we can do this. Don't for, not don't know for sure if we can, but we're going to try. Uh, if it seems like too much of a lift for her, uh, we'll stop. But uh, just going to take it out there and set the whole thing down on the ground, and then I can jack it back up if we can do it gently. So here you goes. Just give me a second to get this camera set up. Here goes. We're going to give her a try. I think we got that on uh, a pretty good shot of that, I think. Uh, really not that bad. Just didn't want to bend anything up. I could have drug it out, but uh, I'm going to block this up here level because tomorrow, hopefully, that will be on this. Uh, anyways, I'm going to jack this up block it up and uh, go from there and then I'm gonna drill out a few spot welds in there just to show you how I'm going to do it and maybe somebody will have a little bit of vice and maybe a better way to do it I'm not sure I gotta look that one over there's a lot of patches in there gonna be tore off and stuff so uh, I'll be back here again just as soon as I get set up over there get this job finished up here so Hello guys, I'm back. I got her blocked up. Uh, I didn't level it yet because I'm not ready for it until tomorrow. Uh, that went pretty well. Uh, wife volunteered to do that, by the way, and she even had the heavy side. She didn't want to be on the camera side. And but worst case scenario, it wasn't heavy, and. Uh, she got dirty. Um, they do my gloves for years. Uh, I just took the grinder and just starting on this panel here where it's easy, just get the feel for it. Uh, the guy told me that I bought these drill bits from that I would be better off if I used a 1 8 bit to drill a pilot hole in the spot weld first because he said that's what goes on oops where did it go these bits is the the tip and he's probably right so I went and bought two of these I'll try it I'll probably end up going to get more uh, they're Milwaukee double side at one eighth bits and as you can see I uh oh yeah I drilled a few there just to just to try it because I uh first I know I have two boys coming tomorrow and they're gonna give me a hand drilling these out because I would be forever so and I have this for when I put it 
back on the body to uh, assist uh, Norton. Body shop, zinc rich, weld true primer. I, I, I assume that's good stuff. Um, that's what I'm going to use anyways. And I got a long ways to go. I don't only have spot wells to contend with. I have other people's patching to tear off because there is one place under there that needs drilled so that patch all got to come off it doesn't look like that it's on there too strong but it's kind of a pain in the butt to do and we have tar I don't know spray on coating or what it is but it's soft uh, let's see. it's it's kind of sticky so anyways I'm gonna that's a patch there too you can see that down through there I gotta take that off and then I gotta find the spot wells that are along there drill those out so this wouldn't be too bad there's another patch there to take off um, I did notice a difference in these car bodies right here um, see if I can where the back seat sits on it this one has a little more of an incline uh, going down here uh, on the other car this was down flat just very straight down so it's just a where it's a two-door it's the only difference but uh, it's still made up with the floor uh, there's one thing I did learn though the floor panel pan the line is right there. It goes all along there. I, I couldn't find it before, but it is right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But So, they do come in the whole section anyways. Uh, would have been an option. Would have been a rough one, but... Anyways, I'm going to just... Uh, oh yeah, the guy said to use cutting oil. So, we got some of that for the bit, just to keep it good I guess from heating up so instead of go slow so I'm gonna try to get, get you guys set up here so you can see see if I can do on this right or what okay we gotta get this angle right way it's hard to do it in the sun I can't see that screen so yeah I think you guys can see that Bear with me here. Oh. There. See my finger there. Anyways, we're gonna switch bits here. Put this one back in here. I have two batteries for this drill. It's just an 18 volt Mastercraft drill. Works pretty good. It's not real fast anyway. And uh Actually, I'm going to spray the butt welds. It doesn't really matter on these ones if I go right through. It did on the other car, but... Let's see if I can see it. Yeah. up quick hmm I uh, only bought two of these bits I think I might have to go down and buy some more 
But I do have uh, 3 sixteenths and 5 sixteenths. Just straight bits probably would work on this. Especially right here. Uh, hot the bit gets hot quick and you see here um where we at here we are. uh I mean I drill one two three four five six didn't take very long but I'm gonna have to be so careful with that bit because it is heating up easy uh, anybody has any Suggestions how I do this like on this car Doesn't matter if I drill through because I'll need those holes to weld with by its own uh, Big thing here is gonna be getting all these patches off so I uh, Got some work to do and There's another one out there but I'm just gonna rip and tear those because uh, Well where I can and because they got that one right over top of the the trunk lid hinge bracket so i'll have to clean that up uh same down in here there's another patch there that i may have a, another piece off of the four-door car may fit that i'm not sure or i can construct that a little better so um anyways i gotta uh Cover that up and cover this dash up again. Cover it up every night. Uh, grab a couple doors, put on this. Well, there's no hurry for that because we got to get all these out tomorrow, and I'm really hoping my young fellows show up. They said they would, so one young fellow has to get a babysitter, but I'm sure he'll come up. We can go at this thing with about three drills and grinders and whatnot and get this at least setting on that other body so that the first of the week I can start going at it, getting it all lined up, clamped in. Uh, where are these, some of these welds I'm drilling right, these welds I'm drilling right through and if there happen to be right through on the other car, um, I was thinking about running some bolts through just to hold it until I get the guy there, get it all ready so the guy can come and weld it up for me. So if I can have it ready, he can just jump in here, there, over there, and just go right to town. It shouldn't take him too long to weld them. And I think I will keep track how many welds there is, just for curiosity sakes. See how many there is in this little project, so we'll go from there. So, like I say, any, any better ideas on how to do this? This is from what I understand, this is how you do it. Uh, feel free to tell me. Uh, I don't know what else to say here. It's uh, hot in this car. I know that much. And we'll back you up here. Oh, I already where he was backed up. Uh, I'm just going to drill a couple more welds. Maybe it's pretty hot, it's getting late in the day. Um, got some fellows, a couple coming to look at the Pontiac. Who, keep your fingers crossed, I'd like to see that go. Now, the guy called me today, he's uh, actually watching the videos of the car, which turned out to be a bonus. They were there, they can have a look at those. So, hopefully, and I mean, hopefully, that car goes this weekend. And help clean this yard out. So, because first week I hope to have this floor. Once I cut the pieces out, I want strip it down, gone, and then I can put that in the garage. So that that takes two out of the yard. So, anyways, um, want to thank you for watching my videos, uh, comments. Like I said, let me know. Um, 
you want a lot of videos in the next week, I can probably make a few. Um, especially once I start putting that back together, I suppose it would be better. I know today was pretty boring stuff. But, got to go through all that to get to where I'm at now. I got a long ways to go. And I got a lot of people <laughs> thinking I'm probably crazy, but I want this car. And I'm going to give it my 100%. Um, lots of time. Take my time. I'm going to do this right. Have a nice car when I'm done. I hope. Anyways, thanks for watching my videos. Take care. Bye.